Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. This is Rama Vishwanathan. In today's video, we are going to learn about squares and square roots of numbers. So what are squares of numbers? Square of a number is nothing but a number a being multiplied by itself is called as a square of number a. It is written as a raised to the power of 2. So, the square of the number 2 is nothing but 2 into 2 which is 2 square and we also know that 2 square is 4, 2 twos are 4. The square of the number 3 is 3 into 3, 3 square which is equal to 9. So, this is the procedure we are going to find the square of a number. Now, what is a perfect square? Let us understand the term perfect square. x is said to be a perfect square if at all it can be written as the product of a number multiplied by itself. x is a perfect square if there exists some natural number a such that a into a is equal to x then square root of x is written as a. So, square root of x is equal to a if x is equal to a into a. So, this is a uh, definition of square of a number perfect square and square root of a number. So, we know that 4 is equal to 2 into 2, is not it? So, square root of 4 is equal to 2. Similarly, square root of 9 is equal to 3, square root of 16 is equal to 4, the reason is 4 4s are 16, square root of 81 is equal to 9 9s are 81, so square root of 81 is equal to 9. So, these are simpler numbers we can find out the square root just by oral calculation. What about the square root of bigger numbers like 729, 121, 441, these are huge numbers. How do we find the square root of these numbers? There should be a proper procedure for that. The procedure is, there are actually two types of procedures. One is prime factorization method. and the other is long division method. In this video, we are going to concentrate on prime factorization method of finding the square root of the given numbers. Let us consider the example. Let us consider 441 as the given example. We need to find the square root of 441. We are going to make use of prime factorization method here. Initially, is 441 divisible by 2? No, the reason being it ends with the digit 1 or the digit 1 is in its units place. So, it is not divisible by 2. So, is it divisible by 3? The tests of divisibility are going to be of great use here. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. So, this number is divisible by 3, right? So, 3 ones are 3. 3 4s are 12 and 3 7s are 21. So, 3 into 147 is equal to 21. Is this number divisible by 3? 7 plus 5 is going to be 12. Yes, it is divisible by 3. 3 4s are 12 and 3 9s are 27. Now, 49 is it divisible by 3? No. 5? No. 7? Yes, 7 7s are 49. So, we have got 441 as product of 3, 3, 7 and 7. Right. How we have to make pairs of identical prime numbers. Then square root of 441 is going to be square root of 3 into 3 into 7 into 7. So, it is going to be 1 representative from each pair. It is going to be 3 into 7 which is 21. So, square root of 441 is 21 or 21 square is equal to 441. Let us verify ourselves. 21, 21 sir. Yes, we are right. 21 into 21 is equal to 441. Therefore, the square root of 441 is equal to 21. This is the procedure of prime factorization. Let us choose a bigger number. 1764. Let us find out the square root of these using prime factorization method. Is this number divisible by 2? A number is said to be divisible by 2 if the digit in its 1's place is either of 0, 2, 
4, 6 or 8. So, this is going to be divisible by 2 because the number in di one's place, digit in 1's place is 4. So, it is divisible by 2. 2 8s are 16, 2 8s are 16, 2 2s are 4. Then again, is this divisible by 2? Yes, 2 4 4 1. Now, it has moved on to the previous example again. Three fours are twelve, three nines are twenty-seven, seven sevens are forty-nine. So one thousand seven hundred and sixty-four is equal to two into two into three into three into seven into seven. So square root of one thousand seven hundred and sixty-four is going to be square root of two into two, three into three into seven into seven. We have grouped them into pairs of identical prime numbers and that's we have we are going to take one number from each pair out of the square 2 into 3 into 7 2 3s are 6 6 7s are 42 so 42 is going to be the square root of 1764 or 42 square is equal to 1764 let us move on to the next example Two four double three six. We need to find the square root of this number. Is it divisible by two? It ends with six. The number digit in its ones place is six, so it is divisible by two. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. Two six are twelve. Two eights are sixteen. Right. Again, it is divisible by two. Two six are twelve. One is left over zero. Two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight. It is a common mistake by most of the students that they write it as 2 6 are 12, 2 8 are 16, 2 4 are 8 which is going to be wrong. If we are going to do the long division method of division 2 6 are 12 and 1 is going to be brought down and we need to put a 0 to bring the 6 down and only then we can write 2 8 are 16 and then 2 4 are 8. We need to be careful at this procedure. So, it is going to be 6, 0, 8 and 4. Now, this is again divisible by 2, 2 3s are 6, 0, 2 4s are 2 2 are 3 0 4 2 again 2, right 2 15s are 30, 2 2 are 4, 2 1s are 2. Now, this number is no more divisible by 2, is it divisible by 3, 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. The test of divisibility by 3 is if the sum of all the digits of the given number is divisible by 3, then the number as such is divisible by 3. So, here the sum of all the digits is going to be 9. So, this number is divisible by 3. 3 5s are 15. The same previous example we have checked, we need to put a 0, then 3 7s are 21. Now, 5 0 7, it is not divisible by 2. Is, uh, two. is it divisible by 3? 5 plus 7 is 12. So, it is divisible by 3. 3 1s are 3. 2 will be left over 20. 3 6 are 18, 27, 3 9 are 27. Now, 1 69, it is not divisible by 2, not divisible by 3, 5, 7, so on. It is divisible by 13, 13, 13 are 169. We ought to know the perfect squares up till 1 to 20, from 1 to 20. Now, 2, 4, double, 3, 6 is equal to, now all these are prime numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 is being multiplied by itself. 4 times, then 3 into 3 and then 13 into 13. So, do we get pairs of numbers, pairs of identical primes? Yes. Now, root of 24,336 is equal to square root of 13 into 13. From each identical pair, we take one representative out of the square root. So, from this we have 2 into 2 into 3 into 13. Now, let us multiply it 2 to the 4, 4 3 is a 12, 12 into 13. Yes, 12 3 is a 
36, 12 ones are 12, 1 plus 15, 156, 156. So, square root of 24,336 is equal to 156. This is the procedure of finding out the square root of the given numbers by prime factorization method. Now, observe in all the three examples we have done till now, we have got a perfect square. What if the given number is not a perfect square? What are we supposed to do? Let us consider an example 720. We do not know whether it is going to be a perfect square or not. Let us check it. 720 is divisible by 2. 2 3 is a 6, 2 6 is a 12, 2 0 is a 0. Then again 2 into 180, 2 into 90, 2 45 is a. Then 45 is divisible by 3. 3 15 zer and then 3 5 zer. So, we, we have found out the prime factorization of the given number 720. Now, if I start pairing them up identical uh, prime numbers 5 is left out. So, 720 is not a perfect square. Now, how do I find out a number which is a perfect square obtained by multiplying 720 with some suitable prime number or else the question can be like this. What is the least number with which 720 has to be multiplied so that the product is a perfect square. Anyway, 720 is not a perfect square undoubted because 5 is a troublesome prime number here because of this 5 it does not have a pair here. So, this 720 is not a perfect square. Now, how do I make it a perfect square? 720 into something, some number, we can make it a perfect square. What is that least number here? As it is, we have 4 2s being multiplied by itself, 5 into dash. If at all, I have 5 in this, then the problem is solved. In the sense, we are going to have identical, sorry, pairs of identical primes. So, 5 is the least number with which 720 has to be multiplied so that the product is going to be a perfect square. The question can be twisted in the other way also. With which least number 720 has to be divided so that the quotient is going to be a perfect square. In the sense, I would like to eliminate this 5. What am I supposed to do then? 720 divided by 5 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 divided by 5. So, we are going to cancel the common factors. 725 divided by 5, 5 and the 5, 22 and so sorry, 5 for the 20 and then 25 for the 20. Yeah, 144 is going to be a perfect square. 720 is not a perfect square, but by dividing 720 by a suitable number, we have got 144 which is a perfect square. Similarly, by multiplying 720 with 5, we get 3600 which is also a perfect square. So, this is a procedure to find out the least number with which the given number has to be multiplied or divided to make it a perfect square. So, in this video, we have learnt the following terms. What is the square of a number? We have learnt about perfect square. Then we found we have learnt what is the square root of the given number and then how to find out the square root of the given number using prime factorization method. We have learnt this also. And then we have learned with which least number should the given number multiplied or divided to make the given number a perfect square.